माई नेम सुना चुके एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गो शो यू हाउ टू डिप्लॉय अ मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल ऑन टू वेब पेज बिफोर एनी थिंग लेट मी शो यू हाउ द आउटपुट इज गॉन लुक लाइक बाई दिस एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो दिस इज दी वेब एप्लीकेशन इट इज यूज फॉर फॉरेस्ट फायर प्रोटेक्शन आई हैव क्रिएटेड एक्जैक्ट सेम ट्यूटोरियल ऑन दिस बट इन फ्लास्क दिस इज गोइंग टू डन यूजिंग दिस स्ट्रीम विट लाइब्रेरी यू सिंपली हैव टू इनपुट थ्री पैरामीटर्स विच इज द ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट राइट इट्स इन पी पी एम and the humidity value and the temperature for any given place and when you click on predict it gives you the output right so it tells me the probability of first fire taking place is 0.88 and if it's in danger which means if it's greater than 50% it says that your forest is in danger and the background color is red so let's say i change the inputs let's say i lower the temperature to a cold value and say i have a higher humidity which makes it less likely for a fire to take place and now say i click on predict so it's changed now the probability for fire taking place is zero and the background color has changed to yellow indicating the forest is safe so this is what we're going to do and for this we're going to use a library called streamlit and it's a library which makes it very easy to build data apps it makes it very easy to integrate python codes open cv codes matplotlib seaborn everything can be integrated on the web page For this story, we're gonna keep it simple and see how to build this website that we had just seen. So before diving into the code, I'm gonna take 20 seconds to explain the workflow of the entire project. Then we'll dive into the code. Step number one is to create a machine learning model and train it. Step number two is to take the model, dump it into a pickle file. Now once we have the pickle file which contains the machine learning model, we're going to build the front end of the web application using Streamlit. and we going to take the inputs from the web application supply it to the pickle file which contains the model get the outputs back and then display that onto the web page so let's start off with the code the first step as i said was to train a machine learning model i have created i have created lots of videos on this and i have done the exact same thing in my flash tutorial so i'm just going to skim through the code right we start off by importing the necessary libraries right first step is to read the data set which i do in this line using pd.read_csv underscore csv where pd is the pandas library and then i create convert the data into a numpy array now i'm segregating the input and output x will contain all the rows and y will contain all the output rows right and then i'm converting x and y into integers all right next step is to train the model which i do using train test split function and the testing size is 0.3 which means 70% of the data is going to be used for training 30% for testing next step i import whichever model i want i am using logistic regression you can replace this by any other machine learning model you want you simply have to change the name next step is to train the model which i do using the fit function and i supply the training data as the input for it and that's it i don't want to test it right now i just want to train the model and dump that onto a pickle file i do that by using pickle dot dump function and i am dumping my logistic regression model into a model dot pkl file here wb basically means that we are doing this in write mode so you can write onto the model dot pkl file and after you run this program you will have a model dot pkl file created as well which i have over here right after that we move on to the main program right we import the streamlit library remember you have to install the streamlit library first using the pip install streamlit command after that i import that as st import the pickle module import numpy as np first step is to fetch the model right fetch the model from the pickle file so i do that using pickle dot load and open the model dot pkl in the read mode right so i can read from it now i create a function called predict forest fire so basically this function is going to run whenever i supply the inputs on the web page and submit that right so basically i am going to be submitting three values right oxygen humidity temperature right so this line might look complicated it's nothing i'm converting the inputs into a 2d array then the 2d array i'm converting that into a numpy array using np dot array after that the array that i've got i'm converting every value into float using as type np dot float so after that uh, i'm using the predict underscore proba function to get the probability of the fire taking place so in the next line i'm basically rounding it off up to two decimal places and simply returning the value after converting it into float now comes our web page part right i define a function called main basically if you want to give a title for your web page basically it will be an h1 size 
and you do that using st.title right and now if you want to add some html formatting some style tags some css codes you do that using this format right i'm creating a variable called html underscore temp and then in inside three quotes i'm giving whatever html code i want right so basically i'm going to give a background color uh, this is basically hex code you might not understand this if you want to find the hex code for any color you simply go to this web page called html color codes right this has amazing functionalities you can check any color you want and for the corresponding color you will get the hex code which is written over here and colors which are most commonly used you have the hex code for them as well right and the name of the color so coming back to our code uh, this is what i've done over here i'm basically printing forest fire prediction ml app uh, and in h2 size over here the color is white and it's aligned to the center now basically whenever you write html code in that right if you want that to be rendered as html you have to use this function called st.markdown so i basically supply the variable in which i had stored the html code to st.markdown after that i want to create three inputs i do that using st.text input so the three variables will be for oxygen humidity and temperature right and inside the input it will be written type here right so whatever you type is going to be stored in these three variables oxygen humidity and temperature right so basically what i want to do is i take this inputs supply to the model if my probability is greater than 50 percent i'm going to uh, have a red colored box in which it will be written your forest is in danger if it's less than 50 percent it will be a yellow colored box and it will say your forest is safe so the html code for the probability less than 50 is over here inside the variable save html where i've written your forest is safe basically and for forest in danger this is the html part and i've right so i'll leave this code in the description and i'll upload it onto my github as well so after that we have created a button called predict so basically what this line does is if the button predict is clicked what i want to do is i want to call the predict forest fire function right which i have created over here and i supply the inputs I supply these three inputs to the function and whatever output I get, I store in this variable. So in the next line, what I do is sc.success. This is basically another way of writing when something has been successfully happened. You can use a stack and it creates a very nice looking box in which this text will be written, which is the probability of forest fire taking place is, and I've given a brackets over here. And when I write dot format output, basically it will format the output and place it inside the two curly places, right? Now, basically I want that if the probability is greater than 0.5, if the output is greater than 0.5, I want to enable this HTML tag of danger, right? So that is done by using st.markdown and I give the input as danger underscore HTML. If the probability is less than 0.5, I want to enable this HTML code, which was basically your forest fire, your forest is safe in yellow color, right? So again, I do that using st.markdown and now I'm giving the input as safe underscore HTML. That's it for the code. And then simply I run the main function. To run this, you simply go to your terminal and you can write streamlit run app.py, right? This will create a local URL on your host. And if you click this, it will redirect to the web page that you have created and you'll get the output as I shown in the video in the starting. So this was a very basic tutorial. You can do amazing stuff with this. You can create computer vision application, natural language processing applications. I'm going to make different videos on that. If you did like this, do like, share and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching.